Greetings, everyone, and welcome once again to the Book of Genesis, part of the Christ Honoring Commentary series, written by my pastor, Brother James W. Knox, and he's the pastor of the Bible Baptist Church in Deland, Florida, and this is the cover of the old book. This is the second printing, and this book is not in print at the present time, and when it comes back out, it'll be a chapter-by-chapter, verse-by-verse commentary, but you can find this particular um, version of the book as a PDF file on the church website, and I believe it's still available in uh, that format and other books that Brother James has written, um, and I'll give you all that information at the end of the broadcast. And we have reached this third day of November already, the third day of November, and we are going to start this series of messages, six parts to this series, titled After Repentance from Genesis 45, and we're going to read the chapter uh, in its entirety, and then we'll get into the topic for today, this first uh, one here, After Repentance, part one, and uh, get into that here in a little bit. But first, I'd like to greet you as always in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, who is the Lamb of God, which taketh away the sin of the world. And he, too, can be your Lord and Savior today if he's not already. Brother James had a really good message this morning about um, uh, salvation there, titled Great Salvation. I think that was the name of the message this morning or something along those lines. So really good message to, to listen to and, and watch and, and take note of and, and understand what salvation is. Another um, good message about that. So, and if you're not saved, well, today is, the day, today is the day to get saved and trust Jesus as your Savior, and He'll wash away all your sin, give you eternal life, and all that. And then after that, He'll um, have the Holy Spirit come and live inside of you immediately after you get saved. And that happens right after you get saved. And right there, just quick as that, the Holy Spirit comes and dwells inside of you and separates your soul from your body. And then He rules and reigns in your heart as you allow Him to and grow in the faith and all that. And that all happens after you get saved, so amen. Okay, let's go ahead now and read the chapter here, chapter 45, and verse 1 says, Then Joseph could not refrain himself before all them that stood by him, and he cried, Cause every man to go out from me, and there stood no man with him, while Joseph made himself known unto his brethren, and he wept aloud, and the Egyptians and the house of Pharaoh heard. And Joseph said unto his brethren, I am Joseph. Doth my father yet live? And his brethren could not answer him, for they were troubled at his presence. And Joseph said unto his brethren, Come near to me, I pray you. And they came near, and he said, I am Joseph, your brother, whom ye sold into Egypt. Now therefore be not grieved, nor angry with yourselves, that ye sold me hither. For God did send me before you to preserve life. For these two years hath the famine been in the land, and yet there are five years in the which there shall neither be uh, earing uh, nor harvest. And God sent me before you to preserve you a, a posterity in the earth and to save your lives by a great deliverance. So now it was not you that sent me hither, but God... And he had made me a father to Pharaoh, and lord of all uh, his house, and a ruler throughout all the land of Egypt. Haste ye, and go up to my father, and say unto him, Thus saith thy son Joseph, God hath made me lord over, uh, made me lord of all Egypt. Come down unto me, and uh, tarry not, and thou shalt dwell in the land of Goshen, and thou shalt uh, be near unto me, thou and thy children and thy children's children, and thy flocks, and thy herds, and all that thou hast, and there will I nourish thee, for yet there are five years of famine, lest thou and thy household, and all that thou hast come to poverty. And behold, your eyes see, and the ears of my brother Benjamin, uh, that it is my mouth that speaketh unto you, and ye shall tell my father of all my glory in Egypt, and of all that ye have seen, and ye shall haste and bring down my father hither. And he fell upon his brother Benjamin's neck and wept, and Benjamin wept upon his neck. Moreover, he kissed all his brethren and wept upon them. And after that his brethren talked with him, and the fame thereof was heard in Pharaoh's house, saying, Joseph's brethren are come. And it pleased Pharaoh well, and his servants. And Pharaoh said unto Joseph, Say unto thy brethren, This do ye, laid your beasts, and go, and 
uh, get you into uh, the land of Canaan and take your father and your households and come unto me and I will give you the good of the land of Egypt and ye shall eat the fast fat of the land now therefore excuse me now there uh, thou art uh, commanded that uh, this do ye take you wagons out of the land of Egypt for your little ones and for your wives and bring your father and come also regard not your stuff for the good of all the land of Egypt is yours and the children of Israel did so and Joseph gave them wagons according to the commandment of Pharaoh and gave them provision for the way to all of them he gave each man changes of raiment but to Benjamin he gave three hundred uh, pieces of silver and five changes of raiment and to his father he sent after this manner ten asses laden with the good things of Egypt and ten she asses laden with corn and bread and meat for his father by the way so he sent his brethren away and they departed and he said unto them see that ye fall not out by the way and they went up out of Egypt and came into the land of Canaan unto Jacob their father and told him saying Joseph is yet alive and he is governor over all the land of Egypt and Jacob's heart fainted for he believed them not and they told him all the words of Joseph which he had said unto them and when he saw the wagons which Joseph had sent to carry him the spirit of Jacob their father revived and Israel said it is enough Joseph my son is yet alive I will go and see him before I die and that's the end of the chapter there and I'll put that aside and grab the uh, book here from brother James and get into this six part series of messages titled after repentance for this third day of November from Genesis 45 now that we read the chapter and let's read what brother James writes about this he says here in Genesis 45 we reach the climax of Joseph's dealing with his brothers the chapter is beautiful and full with emotion there is nothing in all the world's literature to compare with the tale told in Genesis 37 through 48 or 46 and these chapters should be read in one sitting in order for the reader to gain the true effect of the narrative so I encourage you to read all that in one sitting Genesis 37 through 46 and of course we won't read it in one sitting uh, for time constraint uh, but I do encourage you to read it on your own time and uh, through uh, all of Genesis 37 through 46 to get the whole narrative of, of everything that's going on and uh, continue on and the topic it says the emotion of this affair finally gets the best of Joseph verses 1 through 2 the sending away of every man is obviously every Egyptian for his brothers remain finally he reveals himself to them he weeps aloud verse 2 and inquires as to his father verse 3 and his brethren are understandably afraid he calls them near and then we get an astonishing look into the heart of a man who truly bore his trials with charity who truly forgave those who wronged him and who never took his eyes off the Lord amen and hallelujah for that it says Joseph makes two stunning declarations number one God did this verse 5 while he knows the facts of the case that they sold him into slavery yet he knows an additional fact it was the plan of God to send Joseph into Egypt that the lives of his brethren might be preserved amen number two it was not you but God verse 8 only by attributing to God the responsibility for his circumstances could Joseph forgive and only by trusting God could he attribute such difficulty to him and not be bitter against his Lord uh, through waters deeper than most of us will ever pass Joseph never lost his love for his brother or for the brothers that hurt him so uh, nor his confidence in the God who allowed it it is not the size or nature of the offense that hinders us but our response uh, there too it is not the things around us that break us but our occupation with them rather than with Christ may we as Joseph see the hand of God and rest in his will 
that's a good lesson to be learned there. Amen. So let's learn something from this lesson here today. This first part of this series of messages titled After Repentance. And tomorrow we'll be covering part two for November 4th. And this will be on page 392 and 393 of the book. Two pages on this um, one here titled After Repentance Part 2 as we continue on through Genesis 45 and we'll be looking at uh, the typology of Joseph as Christ um, in Genesis 45. So amen. All right, and breaking down the verses here. All right, so that's going to be tomorrow's topic. And like I said before, this is six um, messages here all the way up to the 8th. And then on the 9th, we have pres progressive revelation. And then on the 10th and the 11th, we have this topic titled, Israel Goes to Egypt. And that's part one and two. So that'll be the topic for the next uh, week or so. Amen. <clears throat> so good start to this series of topics on after repentance from the Genesis book for the Christ Honor and Commentary series by Brother James. And like I said before, this is uh, in a PDF file right now on the church website. And you can uh, get it that way. And then other books that Brother James has written. And that's available to order online at www.jameswnox.org or go straight to the store part of the website, which is store.jameswnox.org and look up his books that way, including the PDF file for this one. And then the um, that's also got the audio and video presentations of all the sermons from Brother James, past and present, including the ones that he's been doing now on the book of Hebrews. So check all those out, including today's, this morning's that is. And uh, he'll have another one this evening. I'm um, not sure what the title will be um, yet. So so um, uh, should be good, as always. And so that's how you can get the books there and listen to the um, sermons there. And then the YouTube channel is um, James Knox Sermons YouTube channel to watch the video presentations of his sermons. And then that also includes the radio broadcast and video format for the Preaching of the Cross, where he's been going over the book of James. Each Saturday morning, he posts those up at 9 o'clock uh, a.m. Eastern Time. So check those out if you missed any of those. And so we've been doing that for a few months now. And uh, if you want to watch the broadcasts I do, this one, and then the Baptist Bread broadcast, you can watch those either on Facebook or on the YouTube channel, which is Ambassador for Christ Broadcasting, or typing in Baptist Bread Broadcast and look me up that way. And like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you know when I'm posting these up on the YouTube channel there. And this one is in a playlist, uh, so you can find those in order on the playlist there. So, amen for that. And then also, one more thing, I want to mention the uh, podcast I do. I try to mention that uh, also. So that's God's Messenger Lighthouse Podcast on Spotify, iHeartRadio, and now Podbean. And so, don't have very many that I've been reading on Podbean yet, but uh, starting those, uh, most of them are on the um, Spotify or iHeartRadio podcast, so check those out. Different Heroes of the Christian Faith, uh, uh, ones from um, The Hiding Place by Corey Ten Boom, and then The Return of the Hiding Place, uh, Hans Pillay, and then let's see, um, The God Smuggler, a uh, story about Brother Andrew, and then uh, another book by him um, titled Secret Believers, about Muslims that got saved and, and hiding a secret from their families, and, and a good book there, and many others. Um, there's uh, Jacob DeShazer, um, he was part of the Doolittle um, Raiders, and there's uh, that book, and then um, um, Eric Liddell, and many others that I've read. I can't remember every single one I've read so far, but uh, you can check those out if you'd like to listen to audiobooks being read to you about different heroes of the Christian faith and missionary stories. Uh, check those out, and I also encourage you to get your own copy of the books, so you have your own copy so you can read them too, and maybe read them and follow along with me as I read them to you. So, Amen. All right, so that's uh, that podcast there, God's Messenger Lighthouse Podcast. And uh, so I think that's about it for today. So thanks for watching, and may the Lord richly bless you. Until next time, bye-bye for now.